students welcome to youtube channel electronics for you and in this video i will cover the topic signal flow graph again it is one of the most important topic in our control system so friends i am making the videos regarding the control system so you can watch this playlist here it is available in english as well as in hindi if you know the language uh, you can go through that video and uh, you can watch see prepare the language which is compatible to you uh, see uh, it is just an introduction to signal flow graph so signal flow graph is an alternative method to block diagram reduction so we know that we can uh, find the transfer function by using block diagram so signal flow graph is also a graphical method which is alternative to block diagram reduction but in block diagram we are having transfer uh, summing points, take-off points, blocks, etc. But in case of signal flow graph, we don't have it. We have the directed branches. So directional branches will be there in our signal flow graph. So the definition of signal flow graph is a signal flow graph is a graphical representation of the relationship between variables of set of linear algebraic equation again there is set of linear algebraic equation and uh, if you want to draw it by graphical uh, means if you want to represent it with graph graphical method then you can use the signal flow graph and the advantage of signal flow graph is the availability of direct formula it is called as Mason's gain formula so you are having uh, Mason's gain formula to calculate the transfer function in case of signal flow graph in case of block diagram you were not having the direct formula you were having the set of rules you were applying the set of rules there and you are finding the transfer function in case of block diagram but in case of signal flow graph you, we are having Mason's gain formula and by applying Mason's gain formula we can find the respective solution so this is all about the signal flow graph now let us move toward the next topic that is fundamentals of signal flow graph now uh, I, as i have said that linear algebraic equation can be represented by using the signal flow graph so this is a linear algebraic equation x2 is equals to a multiplied by x1 here x2 and x1 are our variables so these variables can be represented by signal flow graph and here it is x2 and x1 now see here that x2 is a dependent variable which depends on x1 so we can say that x2 is our output i will write x2 here which is our output and x1 is our input and this is a which can be written here so in this way we can represent a signal flow graph now the terms related with this first one is node as i have told you that variables are nothing but your nodes so x1 and x2 these are our nodes next one is branch the transmission function which is connecting x1 and x2 is actually a branch so this is your branch this branch is always unidirectional and uh, therefore this arrow is there which represents the direction of the signal flow signal is flowing from input to output here so this is the arrow which indicates the direction and the last one is a that is a constant gain which can be represented here it may be a number like 5 4 3 etc so this is the gain now uh, there are some important terms related with signal flow graph we will cover it one by one the first one is input node input node is also known as the source and it contains only the outgoing branches so this is the uh, signal flow graph and in this case you can see here that this is x1 and it has only an outgoing branch therefore this x1 is called as the input node now next term is output node 
you can see here that it is also called as sync and it contains only incoming branches so in case of x3 only incoming branches there so it is your in output node one more term is there which is a chain node which has both incoming and outgoing branches so x2 is our chain node one more thing is there that is a path okay so path is a continuous unidirectional succession of branches so if you want to move from one point to other point then it is called as a path path is actually divided into forward path and feedback path but in this case we will consider this example see here that if you want to move from x1 to x3 so x1 to x2 then x2 to x3 this is a continuous unidirectional succession of branches so it is your path so these are uh, some basic terms related with signal flow graph now again we will continue the same as path are <coughs> divided into two parts that is forward path and feedback path is there let us see first term that is a forward path now forward path is a path which is from input node to output node so if you want to move from this point to this point then this is called as forward path so you can see here that x1 to x2 to x3 to x4 this is our forward path <coughs> one more forward path is there you can see here that this path this path is your other forward path another forward path that is x1 to x2 to x4 <coughs> this is the second forward path now the th uh, second concept is feedback path see here that a feedback path which originates and terminates on the same node so we have to move from this node if we move like this we can come back to this point itself so this is your feedback path okay so x2 to x3 to x2 again this is your feedback path one more feedback path is actually there this one but uh, this is covered in next topic it is your self loop so self loop is one which starts and ends with the same point so if you move from x2 uh, x3 to x3 itself with this gain a33 then it is a self loop the next concept is the gain the gain i have already represented the gain it is your constant function that is generally represented over the arrow so this is your these are your different gains which are here so the next one is path gain path gain is the product of branches uh, branch gains encountered in traversing a path so if you are moving from one point to other point say let us consider this path that is x1 to x4 and if we are moving from this point to this point whichever the gains are there just multiply them and it is your path again so in this case a21 a32 and a43 this is the product of this forward path and it is called as path again now next is loop again so we have to find a loop i have already told you that this is feedback loop and the gain which encounters here is your loop gain so a32 multiplied by a23 is our loop gain now next term is non touching loop now let us uh, consider an example of this diagram and in this case non touching loop first we have to find the number of loops here so this one loop is there then this is another loop is there then this outer loop one more loop is there and the last one is this one so we are actually having four different loops here and we have to find the path gain for this loop uh, sorry we have to find the non touching loop here so in this case non touching loop means if two nodes are not uh, uh, if a node is not common to any uh, loop then it is called as 
non touching loop so let us consider this example and this example here no node is common therefore this is your non touching loop number 1 and the product of their gains are considered here that is g2s h1s multiplied by g4s h2s one more non touching loop is there again this pair and this outer loop if we consider the same then again we are having a non touching loop that is loop number 2 and the respect to gains are there this is nothing but the multiplication of the uh, individual gains now one more path is there actually you can see this is a non touching loop and this loop is also non touching to this loop so third pair that we will see is this one which is highlighted here and uh, the respect to multiplication of individual gains are there so these are the terms which are related with the uh, sfg one more term is there that is called as dummy nodes so dummy node is actually a branch having gain 1 and can be added at added at input as well as output so a node let us consider this node which is added over here input and let it be r so this is called as dummy node if it is having a gain 1 as well as at output you can add one more node that is let it be c so this r and c is your individual dummy nodes note here that this dummy nodes can be added at the input only input and output only it cannot be added uh, at some intermediate node also it should it must have gain equal to 1 okay so this is the term which is a dummy node now let us solve one example here these are the terms that i have seen uh, i have explained earlier now let us find the input node input node is one which is having only output branch so this one you can see here that r of s is your input node output node now let us see the output node output node is having only incoming signal so this is incoming branch only so this is your c of s which is nothing but output node the next one is forward path forward path so see here forward path one is this one r to c straight line and one is r to this v to s up to this v to s then to this and this so it is here mentioned here this two forward paths are there and respective gains are also there which is indicated and last one is feedback path you can see the one uh, i have already explained the feedback path 1 2 3 4 and four this four feedback loops are there and respect to gains are also explained earlier so in this way we can find out the relative terms related with the uh, signal flow graph so signal flow graph is basically a very big topic so in the next videos i will uh, cover one by one these are uh, draw sfg from the system equations then to draw sfg that is signal flow graph from block diagram and the last topic will be obtain the transfer function by using mason's gain formula this is one of the most important topic but uh, this is also some uh, these are also two topics that i am covering in this uh, in the uh, subsequent video so keep watching our playlist here and uh, please subscribe our channel thank you and friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like comment and share thank you